Are you frustrated with Bluestack's frequent crashes and blue screens while playing games? I have tried a new Android emulator and it is perfect for PCs. It was developed by Google so that developers could test their apps and games, but you can also use it for free. The emulator runs smoothly without consuming all your system RAM. So let's check it out. To install this emulator, you can search for Google Play Games emulator. Go to this developer.android link. In here, you can see that it is a developer emulator meant to be used by developers only, but you can also use it to play games and sideload applications. Click on this download stable edition button, or if you want other versions, go to the other downloads option. Download and installation is pretty much straight. You just have to run the downloaded installer and it will do everything. After the installation, when you launch, it takes you to the authentication page where you need to sign in with your Google account. Only then it will work. Sign in and then close the window. You will see the Play Games window. Here you have to scroll up with your mouse to see the menu. It contains a few basic apps like Settings, Play Store, and Chrome. If we go to the settings, we can see the Android version. It is running on Android 14, while Bluestacks runs Android 11. There is a huge gap. You must note that it doesn't have navigation icons. To go back, you have to press the Control plus B button, and for home use, Control plus H. When you open the Play Store, you can see it doesn't show apps. It's because it is only for games. However, you can sideload the apps, which we will see a little later. In the Games tab, you will see different games. I tried playing the Angry Birds and it works effectively. If you want to install apps on the emulator, you will have to get the APK for it and then use a tool to sideload. Open the Microsoft Store on your PC and search for an AOW tool. It is one of the many WSA tools. The AOW tool is free, just click on the free trial. Once it is installed, open it. Using this tool, you can sideload applications and games on your emulator. Just drag and drop the downloaded APK here. It will install the app, and then you can use that on your emulator. I tried installing Instagram on the emulator, but it didn't open correctly. Might be I downloaded a faulty APK, and then I installed Assassin, and it loads perfectly. This emulator doesn't have many options, but if you look at the Quick Launch section and right-click on the Google Play icon, you get some options. You can switch between your internal and external graphic card and increase the FPS up to 144. You can also change the display ratio from 16 by 9 to 16 by 10, 21 by 9, or 9 by 16, the portrait mode. So, these are the options you get in this Android emulator. If you want an emulator specifically for gaming, this is the best option. It comes straight from Google, so there won't be any issues like a blue screen while playing. You can have smooth playback without frequent crashes.